Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Martin Berkey, and I'm a post schizophrenic actor. <laughs> now, before you say that's impossible, or uh, are we all? Or so what? Or monkeys seem to be playing a much smaller role in the manufacture of ball bearings. <laughs> Now that saying things is unsaying things, allow me to magnify my vagaries. For having said the very thing I shouldn't have said, for once it said, what else is there to say? Which is much less than to say, what you get is what you see, and what you see is what you don't get, hopefully won't get, because you don't want it, being as you already have it. It's just not there for the having, especially not within this fake glamus of regenerating ruction, where we in superannuated immediate symbologies still strive to share what we don't have, which in the end, or in spite of the end, is really all we have, for our ridiculous attempts to be free of that mind-poaching chasm between what we say and what's said of us, which after everything's been left unsaid, is the pulse of the schizophrenic corpse. Well, as I was saying before I was so rightly interrupted by myself, uh, the cock of essential marginalia, and having said the very thing I shouldn't have said, I feel I have no alternative but to say it again, which is to say, my name is Daniel Martin Berkey, and I'm a post-schizophrenic actor. To knack this knurled newt, let's look at said epithet, or is it epitaph, composed of three hostile, collaborative terms, post, schizophrenic, actor. Together they make up me, as I've come to be. By that illusion I shall here engage, with the goal of playpenning me in you, that this braggart walk shed disable our psychopomp, different lines into common minds, into our dream lub-dub, generating a trusting place of pure piano milk, generously slow light, as uncut as a belly opulation silent types feel, where the peaking leaf of blunder in the sluiceless word range suddenly shunts a metaphrastic nib through their ellipses, sprouting complex conjugates all about the incendiary dude over devices of their pattern deranged charisma, current petiety. A place like that and then some? Kimochi? <laughs> Excellent. Post. After her has been. Schizophrenic uh, remains to be seen. Actor. A notion forever running from one place to another looking for who knows what. <laughs> Given these moldings, the phrase post-schizophrenic actor is employed under permanent contract for the task of exhibiting schizophrenia that you might see how schizophrenia doesn't exist, save as a scent of fear in an only kidding, which is to say... I don't much believe in winning a match with a makeshift perspective projection, it, which isn't to say I'm not overjoyed to be here in this place choking on you, considering the places I could be. Was quickly headed, felt it my nihilistic obligation to invade and let conquer. Compared to those places, which I shall in the course of your sit-in against this place being simply this place, describe with the urgency of the damned as they blow ever gently in the fires of rain that peter in the rain of tears from our regretful radix point. Compared to those places, this is the place. Yes, I was uh, diagnosed schizophrenic. Yes, I confess the symptomology. Yes, I wear it like a badge of flesh. But what? I love the love that loves to love. I've dug an escape tunnel into your bunker mentality and emerged into this splurge-pocketing, dark and light community that my lipactic spores might deviously barrel a shadow-encrusted Wonder Woman spinal musk across the mole hills of your wolverine shalom, blasting all security concerns with my porch talk because here it's me and you and our exact opposite, wildly nursing the world's self that too rarely takes to suck, yet constantly at it, 
screaming at syringes. I'm propped between two okay feelings, the need to be done with it, and a willingness to study the etiology of finishing on time. Plus, schizophrenic doesn't mean I'm no longer schizophrenic, because once you go back, you never go black. But it does mean the predictive calculus, whereby drug lords might identify me as a risky purchase in a habitat of fair weather dogadism, has been laterally upgraded. That my connectivity, reliability, usability, prospective speed, and gutter punk sex appeal meet the industry standards required for a mellow junket through a brainstorm few doctoral candidates can merely admire. My language? ruined as it is by sincerity, cannot adequately reflect my sense of being completely free of prenatal fears. A new man, in effect. Even if that makes me a little heralded specimen of the do I know you school of solicitude? But suffice to say were I, and I am not, required to give a yes or no answer to the question are you schizophrenic or just inappropriately inclusive? I would not, as I would have. Talk the talk. But something happened to me. Yeah, I was attacked repeatedly. <laughs> Always by differing degrees of affection. First to conception. Then throughout the long, hot winter of misconception. And again, at last, much earlier, freeing me from the core independent variable that kept me from calling myself stable enough to be here and say, <laughs> this is all there is. Me, in a melodic bubble balancing on the continent of your tongue. Which brings me to that other word, actor. By way of full disclosure, where I mean to iterate contours, for I've been too long on the way of part disclosure. I'm a post-schizophrenic actor who doesn't support schizophrenia, save as a personal trainer the well-off can't afford. True story. I'm an actor in remission from schizophrenia. And I am an actor in remission. A one-man play about schizophrenia. That's no joke. It's a see-through picture of your face on my face. Which is why no one's laughing in that newfangled way, you know, like all oh, the oxygen's run out. <laughs> yes. A one-man play about schizophrenia. And that is a joke. Being a wildlife refuge for one dead duck. Now, that dead duck has many people to many statues, all of which reeds smudged out of their base. Tomorrow is just a yesterday away. And now, being as I am what I am in, and I am in your fresh muckrake flambeau. One presumes this operation will be a success, thanks to its complications. For the surgeon, Dr. Timeout New York, must perform the procedure on himself, using broken joints to fix broken joints, which slip the more they set and set the more they slip, following the old rhetoricians into the rundown building of ridiculous theme parties. <laughs> And a joint set incorrectly does far more damage than an unset joint, whilst one debilitates whilst the other falsely empowers, causing deeper breaks which cannot set because they cannot slip. And that's the secret behind the mistake, being in the thick of things, no matter how thin the evidence that being thickens. So if you require proof of my remission, here it is. Prior to my state of post my state, the task of speaking someone else's words like they were my own was trying to force a pot chart to pretend it was a pot before it was a muddy dream. But now I keep my words, speaking words, not my words, like they were my words. For through this Mobius scope, I aim to keep the aim upon the sign my implications have hid from me for good reasons. Which leads me to believe that I am a post-schizophrenic actor. And I'm here that we, in joint obversion, might make prochronic fact my ingress through the mythic organic transmorphism from the modular full human being, from senator to honorable senator to monster to back again, the ingrate state of self-assurance via this infarctive healing deagreogeny of a so slurred disease cumulatively termed dementia precox, a.k.a. the intertextuality we all hope wouldn't come for some time, but which already left, leaving a vibe of Hey, Dan, tell us your life story, because that's some fucked up shit you've been talking. And wouldn't it be cool to go snow camping somewhere with a little less you know? 
snow? I'm more than happy to oblige you in that urge. For this is that dream ritual into which I've been installed by my own joy. For I'm for the joy, the opera that speaks for me. For I'm a, a mountain making love to the lichen that keckles it. See, this like it or not is my story. And my story, like all stories, is a story of a journey. And this journey, like all journeys, is a journey through a place. And this place, need I remind you, has a place in our world, place we inhabit. This is going to be extremely difficult. I've swum, drowned in, drank, and crawled out of a sea so hostile to my Cartesian lungs, I must relate my frown flounderings. That you, around whose ankles, necks, or higher questions such swells now swirl, a survival cut-up might provide some eidetic flotation sinkle for your devisal, be it to stay above or to mark where it went down. But wanting to help you doesn't make it any easier to get help to you, given your location of uninformed readiness. Yet none of this is really relevant to knowing what ready means in a place where knowing what ready means means you're not ready. So are you ready? <laughs>